Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Donlin, and today we're going to take a look at how to make this animation from my Sigurblot video. I think this is a great way to really uh, illuminate a text, to make the past feel like it's being discovered, maybe on a cave wall or some kind of uh, ancient uh, site. So here we go, let's uh, pick this apart and uh, analyze it. Now, I actually have the whole um, uh, section from this video already created and we're actually going to kind of look at the different layers and how this thing gets built um, it, might, it might seem like a lot all at once, but it's much simpler than the sum of its parts There's just a whole lot of different kind of lighting things going on that really create this effect and none of it is really all that fancy So um, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and see how it gets made if uh, we're starting off at the most simplest layer, it's just the text on a plain background. Um, I originally wanted to use the uh, Valhalla starting screen background, but it just, um, it, it didn't look all that great in the different kinds of lighting. So uh, with this stage in the, um, in the scene, you can basically see that uh, all we're really doing is trying to uh, show the text. Um, nothing too crazy going on with the torch, uh, nothing with the fire, and nothing with the lighting. So uh, how did I get to this with the text? Well, uh, we have our text right here. We have our, our background here. Um, and then there's uh, some flame added in um, that I think uh, is much more simple uh, than it looks. Basically, uh, I just kind of took the same text. I beefed up the glow factor to like 300%. I changed the color to yellow. I masked it. And then as you can see, the, um, the mask just kind of follows the text as it reads. I was looking for an effect that would kind of follow a torchlight. Um, and uh, this is basically, you know, the best I could do under a time crunch. And uh, it's, it's seriously so simple. All it really is is just kind of a mask path that travels in different directions. You can kind of see all of the different keys down there that uh, really just make that um, stage what it is. So we have our, um, our text, we have our lighting text. Let's get to the actual thing that's going to be lighting it, uh, the, um, the torch itself. So if uh, we're looking at the torch, this is uh, just some basic uh, green screen footage of a flame. It's not the actual torch itself. Um, and I just kind of used a very simple um, effect to get rid of uh, the green screen behind it. Uh, key light, this works really great. You can get rid of pretty much any solid background as long as it's, um, you know, as long as it's like as, as clear uh, as it should be. And as you can see, it really picked up a lot of the detail within the fire itself too. So um, again, no, no fancy work on my part. This was all after effects here that really took the reins on this one. And so we have our effect. But anyway, so we have our fire. Uh, the torch itself is just a very uh, simple image and um, I'll show you how to make it look like the fire is coming from the torch. So let's take a look at what this whole thing uh, is meant to look like. Uh, I know this is a lot. There's a, a lot happening on the screen here, as you can see it kind of moving around. Um, the only thing that's really shifting is the position of the torch and the position of the lighting. Uh, that's done by really carefully sort of dragging uh, both at the same time. So if you move one, you want to make sure that you go ahead and move the other. So I have a couple different spotlights here to illuminate that effect. There's this light here, as you can see, this is, you know, showing that color. Uh, there's this light here that is showcasing the uh, most of the text itself. And again, it's very faint. Only 23% intensity there is meant to show that, like, you know, the, the torch is the thing that's bringing the light to it, um, not the actual uh, light behind it. Um, but again, what makes that text uh, light up and glow as the torch moves, that would be the ambient light here, which is actually behind the text itself. I don't have it on too strong, but that should be what shines through uh, as the torch moves. Um, so anyways, we, uh, we, we have our effects going through here and as you can see, you know, there's just a bunch of different kind of movements that, um, that, that show where this uh, torch is going to go, that show where this lighting is going to go. And on top of each other, they look really great in terms of just, uh, you know, kind of making it feel much more natural, make it feel like you're, you're following the animation as, it, as it's being discovered. 
Final step, of course, is uh, just to uh, tie the camera all together. Um, I used a couple of different kinds of zoom, some tracking shots, some blurs to really just kind of um, like lump this all together. But as you can see, the whole thing is really just as simple as uh, some video of some fire, uh, some glowing text, some like kind of illuminated backgrounds, and then of course some camera zooms in and out to really make it feel like uh, the text is uh, popping off of that stone. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm excited to uh, see what uh, what you guys can create uh, using After Effects with this. Uh, hopefully this is a little bit inspiring to see just how simple this really is. Um, and uh, thanks again.